Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Yesterday, while researching for an upcoming video, I realized our AHT video from last Monday sparked some dislike from Reddit. I thought I'd take this time to clarify my thoughts on Ashford Hospitality Trust as a company and as a stock. To start, as a company, Ashford Hospitality has a portfolio of numerous hotels including Marriott, Hilton, Embassy Suites, Hyatt, among many others. When we first started covering AHT, we said AHT is a reopening stock to look at with its diverse portfolio of hotels. In addition, financially, the company is recovering with them beating EPS estimates for the past three quarters. Unfortunately, the company's earnings are negative but have been increasing quarter over quarter. As a stock, on the other hand, I have other thoughts. People are upset that I consider AHT a pump and dump. While I could have used other words, what do you call a stock that has had an over 100% increase at its peak to a 70% decline before the reverse stock split? Next, it's arguable to consider AHT a meme stock. At the peak of AHT, you can see search levels for Ashford were at a 90-day high. To give some reference, GameStop had peak search results in January at the peak of their rise. To define meme stocks, they're stocks that see dramatic price increases mostly fueled by people on social media. Next, AHT had a 10 to 1 reverse stock split. At the time of this recording, AHT is trading at $16.20. This is an over 10% decline from the start of the split. If you want to do the math, divide $16.20 by 10 and you'd have a pre-stock split price of $1.62. That's lower than the closing price on July 16th, the last day before the stock split. To the AHT community, I think Ashford Hospitality is a great company, but a terrible stock. The company has a diverse offering of hotels in multiple regions of the country. I'm not saying that the stock can't rebound, but as of right now, it's gone from upwards of $7 to below $2 and declining even after the reverse stock split. Please leave your thoughts below and don't take this as financial advice. And thank you for watching. Morris Money.